Hi, I'm Mark Hall with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, and with me today is Chet Norris, Director of the Tennessee Valley Research and Extension Center here in Limestone County, Alabama. Chet, tell we have worked with uh, harvesting water for irrigation for several years on the station. Uh, what's the concept of harvesting water for irrigation? Here in the Tennessee Valley, Mark, as you know, most of the irrigation systems pull from streams. It's extremely difficult to obtain well water, uh, although there are some wells, but the majority of them pull from streams. So there's a tremendous demand on these small streams during drought times when we really need the irrigation water. So the idea came about uh, here at the center 18 years ago for us to have a water harvesting and storage project. So what we do, we have a limestone creek, a lake limestone creek that runs through the center. So during high water times, which is typically November through March. The stream is full pool, there's a lot of water that's running down to the Tennessee River. At that time, we'll pump water from Limestone Creek into a reservoir that we have that contains 140 acre feet. And we'll fill that reservoir and then strictly use that stored water for our irrigation needs during the growing season. So it gives you water in wet times to use in dry times what type of farming operation might this fit with, Chip? It fits well with us. Uh, of course, we uh, are small acres compared to, to larger growers. Uh, I see some instances where maybe some growers with some specialty crops, which would be smaller acres perhaps, could utilize this type of system. And I also understand there's some towns, uh, municipalities that have uh, considered using this type of stored water system for uh, backup water supplies perhaps those type things. Thank you, Chip. Appreciate your information on harvesting water. For all of our irrigation videos and other ag videos, visit our website on YouTube. Here's the address for that website. Thank you for watching our video today. If we can help you, please let us know.